What's up guys, Dark Dally here, and today I'm not playing a video game. Today I'm actually reviewing a piece of hardware which is definitely good for video gaming. Now if you're a big gamer like me, you probably go through a lot of headsets. I go through a lot of headsets. Now that's partly because video gaming is my full-time job. But, you know, even for just the person who plays 8 or 10 hours a day casually, um, you've probably gone through a lot of headsets. I've gone through a lot of headsets. So today's video is a review on the Mastrop and Sennheiser PC37X headphones. This, I'm just going to start off and say this is a great gaming headset, okay? Um, there are some things that you could, you could pick out over this, and we'll go through those things. There's a few points I want to talk about, about, the, about these headphones. I'm going to go through everything as thoroughly as I can, and at the end of the video, oh yeah, full disclosure, uh, Mastrop did send me these headphones for free to uh, review for them. And so they're probably expecting a positive review, but regardless, I'm going to give my opinion, you know, honestly, because you guys know I'm always honest. What I was going to say, here's what I was going to say, guys. They not only sent me one set, they actually sent me two of these boxes. So at the end of this video, well, I'll, be, uh, I'll go over the rules. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to give away this other set of PC37X headphones. It is a great headset, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, up front, it's a great headset. And there's some things you can pick at. But we'll get to that here in a second. Let me put these down. All right, so if you're not familiar with Mass Drop, because I wasn't until a couple weeks ago. Yeah, they actually gave me the headphones a couple weeks ago, and I spent the last two weeks with them. Now, I have been busy because two games just came out this last week. I really wanted to play and get up on the YouTube channel. But also, they're really nice to wear. I was trying to take as much time as I could to get them broken in and, and wear them. And, and uh... So anyway, until then, I hadn't heard of Mass Drop. Mass Drop... They sell a lot of things, and we can talk about that. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. You should definitely check them out. There will be a link to their website, of course, in the description of this video, so you can go check out a pair of these headsets for yourself if you want. I'll tell you right now, this is uh, these are high-quality headset. Is this is not like a $500 headset? Uh, these are about 120 bucks from MassDrop.com, and. That's a pretty good price. That's usually what I look. That's usually the price range I look at when I buy headsets, and I wear headsets for a living, you know, all day long. And so when I look for a headset, I definitely look for something serious because I've gone through so many. You guys should see the collection of headsets I have, as I'm sure many other gamers, you know, do as well. We all have, you know, I've I've got a couple turtle peaches and some razors up there in my room, and because I I not only wear them to game, I also wear them on my channel. All right, so that said, let's have a look at these. So these are, you'll notice the Sennheiser name. They're well known for making really high quality headsets. And in this particular instance, Masterop teamed up with Sennheiser to make this version. This is basically a more economic, affordable, accessible, and just practical headset um, designed after the uh, PC373D that Sennheiser released. Now those are a lot more expensive. They had a lot of things also you just don't need. They had a lot of color accents on them and flashing lights and uh, 7.1 surround sound. And if you feel you need 7.1 surround sound to play video games, by all means, go ahead and do that. This headset comes without any of that. Well, this headset comes with a lot, actually. And in fact, I think there's one thing in particular this headset does better than the PC373D, and I'll tell you that in a second. A lot of people have also compared this headset to the Game 1. I think that headset was also made by Sennheiser. And um, the difference being, that costs about $30 more than these do. And now, so you're, it does seem like a pretty good deal for $120. And don't forget to stay tuned at the end of this video. I'll uh, give the rules for the giveaway, because I'm giving one of these headsets away, because they sent me an extra one. So why not give it to one of you guys? I think that's a pretty cool deal. We'll talk about that here in a minute once I get through the rest of the review, and I'll give you my final thoughts, and we'll see where it goes from there. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is this cord. This cord is great. I like this cord for a lot of reasons, and we are gonna revisit this um, later in this video. And uh, yeah, hopefully that won't be too much later. Hopefully I can keep this video short because um, there's a lot of things to say about this headset, but I'm pretty sure I can get through it in a few minutes. This, this cord is great. I'll talk about it in a second. There is one criticism here. It's, this is not a criticism per se, but as long as I'm holding the cord in my hands, look, there's good and there's bad. Now, one thing that this headset actually kind of has over the PC373D is that that, you know, that headset is a USB. And so if you really care about your microphone quality, 
we all know what it sounds like when you're trying to do a quality recording with a USB mic because of uh, the com sound compression. That said, I do record all my videos on my YouTube channel with a USB uh, mic. Mine's, I guess I got lucky and I got, a, I got a good one. I don't have many problems with that. That said, it's always good to prefer analog and this comes with an analog cord. Now this is a PC gaming headset. That said, you can game with this on console. If you play on console, you totally can. But here's the problem. It has two analog connectors. So now I could take my PS4 controller, I could just plug the headphones right into the, into the controller and use this as, as a headset you know, to play my games. But if you want to talk, you're going to have to get an adapter. They only cost a couple bucks at the store. So that's why I said this is not really a criticism. It's just, it's, it's more of a thing of why didn't they just include a, a, a cheap connector in, in the box? But then again, you could argue that point and say, if it's so cheap, why does it matter? Exactly. Not a big deal, guys. It's really not. All right, so let's move on to, there's so many cool things to talk about about these headphones. Let's get on to it. There's, uh, let's go into point number two here. All right, guys, so I just looked at my, uh, my little note card here, and as it happens, that was point number two. So we're moving along faster than I thought. All right. When I first got these headphones, the first thing I did was I wanted, I wanted to play with them. I wanted to put as much time into these headphones as I could because we all know when you buy a set of headphones like these which go over your ears, there's always a period of breaking. At least there is for me. Every time I get a new headset, my ears, I mean, it can be painful. Uh, I think the worst was uh, oof, this pair of Turtle Beaches I had. Oh, I would wear them all night and then I would just sit there and I would... I'd have to pry them off my head, hold my ears. And it, it, it's just a thing that happens. While your ear, I guess it's your ears conforming to the shape of a new of a new headphone, right? And that's something I'm used to. So the first thing I wanted to do with these headphones was I wanted to break them in. I wanted to see, okay, what's the break-in period like? And, you know, am I going to have horrible ear pain with this? So the first two days that I got these, I wore these things all day and night. Yeah, there is a break-in period. They they got uncomfortable after maybe six or so hours the first night. I, kind of binged on Netflix for about six or seven or eight hours, who knows. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but they never hurt. They never hurt. And I'll tell you why that is here right now. In fact, when you first put these things on, you know what, let me put this cord away. When you first put these things on, you're going to feel like you died and went to freaking lamb wool heaven on your head because this ha these have the softest velour ear pads and also has uh, the same on the headpiece, if you can see here, that I've ever felt. I still knew there was going to be a break-in period. It's, you know, again, you know, it is what it is. But I will say the comfort of these things is second to none. I mean, I mean, I don't think people, people don't drop $400 on a headset for the comfort. But if you're going to be wearing a headset for several hours a day, if you're a gamer, oh, it's so nice to come home and put these on. It's like putting on a pair of slippers. Now, that said, all right, so let's check this out. So we got these, these uh, I don't think this camera has autofocus, so I'm not going to try to hold it up to, to the camera for you. But uh, trust me, these things are soft. And you know what the best thing is about these? Is that these ear cups, they pop off that easily, just like that. Bam, they pop right out, and they're super easy to clean. Okay, so I've been wearing these for about a week since I've cleaned them, and there's some hair in here, little bits of pocket lint and whatever, and you can literally just, you could just brush it off. I have not, yeah, see right there? There, I just rolled off a piece of lint right there. I've been wearing these solid for a couple of weeks. I even put up a couple of videos that I recorded, you know, using this because I wanted to test out the mic. And um, so I can confidently say these are super easy to clean and they're super easy to put back on. They just snap right on. And so we'll just pop this, this thing back in here. Now, that's one thing I like about these. They're just so incredibly, you know, super easy to clean. These are really just practical, no frills gaming headset. And now when I say no frills, I don't mean it's not cool. I mean, this thing is, this thing has all the features that I really think, you know, the average gamer really needs. It like seriously does. And one great thing, and I got to put this on because I just, this is the most comfortable headset I've ever worn. It's got such a slim profile. Now, like me, I, I like to lay in bed and game a lot, you know, kick back on my couch and, you know, record a video or whatever. And you can like fall asleep with these headphones and not wake up in the middle of the night and realize you've been sleeping on your headphones the whole time. Because you can actually just, you can honestly just 
fall asleep on your, on your side in your bed and these things are not gonna break or anything or get caught on anything and you're probably not even gonna notice it. They're, they're made practical for what we actually need in gaming, you know? Now, some people like to have more expensive things and that's fine. Personally, I think this is a great price range for, for a headset, you know? And I just wanted to put that out there, you know, to start off, you know, my number four point of my review of the PC37X is practicality, guys. Practicality is, I think, a really big thing and really important. All right, and so for number five, what I want to talk about is the way these things are put together, the way they're built. A nice, simple, you know, they're, they're sturdy. They're not aluminum or whatever, you know, like a lot of the... Uh, higher price headsets are, I really don't think that matters. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you one thing, these headphones are quiet. Not only are the ear cups nice and comfy, cozy, the headphones are quiet. Listen to this, guys. Yeah, they don't creak. They don't creak. I had one headset, I think it was a, I wanna say it was a Turtle Beach Stealth 600 that I had, and the thing, every time I moved my head, something on it creaked or made a noise. And because I had a mic monitor on it, I could hear, of course, it was going through my mic and I could hear it back in my ear and it was just, it was really annoying. Now these things are built really well and really simply and with everything you need. Of course, the cord attaches right here. I'm just, you know, not using it so I can move more freely. You've got a volume knob right here and that's the only controls on the headset. It's just a nice simple volume knob. You can't not find it, you know? It's not something you have to fiddle with and it's not, in the middle of the cord. I hate when they put inline volume knobs and that's something I'll talk about here in a second on the cord. I hate when they do that crap. There's uh, the microphone automatically mutes when you fold it up. There's a click about right, right there where the mic clicks when you fold it up. It's nice and simple. The mic, um, it doesn't look, doesn't really look like it, but it does adjust. Uh, it has a little, bend, a little bendy arm here, it adjusts. And as long as we're talking about the mic, I guess I'll go there and then we'll talk about uh, the ear cups. Now, the mic, it has a noise canceling mic. And uh, this is actually, now I've watched a lot of reviews. I have, I've watched a lot of reviews. I've seen a lot of the criticisms and the praises other people have given this headset. And honestly, I agree with um, many of the criticisms. <laughs> there, there's really not, I mean, there's not much to criticize because it's such a simple headset. But anyway, we got a noise canceling mic here. And this is one thing in reading reviews, I can't say I really saw anyone mention other than it had one. Um, if you notice, it has the mic's totally open and it has a, what looks like a mic on the back side. And I know how a lot of mic, um, I know how a lot of noise canceling mics work is they have external microphones specifically to pick up the background noise. And then the headphones then compare that with your voice and it knows what to cancel out. Noise canceling microphone is really awesome. However, you know, as far as it goes, actually speaking of that, I mentioned it had a lot of headphones. Yeah, here's one of, yeah, look, yeah, here's my, uh, I, I don't mean to bring another headset onto a review of this awesome headset, but I just happened to notice, look, my razor crack and gathering dust over there. I think I wore this thing for about a week and it just wasn't to my thing. It didn't have the mic quality I wanted. Not for me. Um, I let my roommate use it. He uses it sometimes. Yeah, that's just sitting over here. Um, well, one thing about mic quality and talking to people in games is, um, so we don't have the 7.1 surround sound on this set. We have angled drivers in, in the ear cups. A lot of headsets are going that way. It allows the headset to be really small, lightweight, and give you lots of room in your ears. The other thing about these ear cups is they're open-backed. A lot of, you know, a lot of headsets are doing that as well. Now, that can be good or bad depending on who you are and what you do. A lot of people may not like that when they're playing their game and they can still hear people talking in their house that might annoy them. Or, you know, if you're a college student, maybe your, your roommate in your dorm, you can hear him playing games all the night because it's gonna leak some sound out of this as well. You can hear, but I think that's a really silly thing to be picky about, to be quite honest. I think it's a pretty good advantage actually because if someone's trying to talk to me or get my attention or someone's at the door, I can hear him, you know, you know what I mean? So, all right. And so that's about all there is to go over on the hardware. When you know, when you're looking at the thing, it's such, it's, it's very simple. You have one control knob, you have an attachable cord, you have a good microphone. Now I'll say, um, I did record, yeah, I did. I've recorded a couple of videos on my YouTube channel. 
with this and uh, mic quality wise well this is not the best mic this is not made to be a, a studio quality mic it's not what it is it's, it's, it's a gaming headset and an awesome one i recorded a couple of videos and i got comments people saying hey you sound different you know that's the thing you know doing what i do you know being a youtuber people expect to always hear you the same way i've used the same i've been religiously using the same microphone for the last year and a half if i change it up i guarantee i'll hear about it that said this does have good mic quality. I let, uh, you know, in in the interest of scientific testing, you know, I let my uh, I let my roommate wear it for a night of gaming. You know, in the interest of you know being scientific and everything, I figured, hey, so I, I walk up to him like, hey man, I just got this in the mail like last week. You know, I let you try it on. He oh he when I when he first when I gave him the set to try on, he's like, oh my god, it's so comfy. I was like, I know. And so when I was like actively like trying to wear this all the time and get all the info I could. Um, I had him wear it for a night of gaming because he plays different games than I do. He plays like World of Tanks and, and other stuff, you know. I've played a few games with this, what, like Fallout and uh, I think I even played some Minecraft. And I've tried various different kinds of games and, and I did find the sound to be incredible. But where I'm going with this is I let him borrow it and immediately the people in his TeamSpeak server said, Whoa, 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 you sound different. They're like, and he's like, how do you mean? He said, you sound great. We don't hear any background noise. So there's that. Yeah, sure, when I walked by, maybe I could hear him gaming, but I am a gamer, it doesn't bother me. So, it's got it there, you know, it's it's got a good mic, you know. It's not as good as the mic that, you know, you might use to record YouTube videos with, but uh, I wouldn't pay $120 for a headset and expect that kind of quality. This, however, is better than many $100 mics I've had, like that one I was just holding in my hand. For instance, this mic is way better than that. At least that's my opinion, everyone's going to have their own opinion. Maybe I've just gotten so used to the way my voice sounds after hearing myself talk for, what, like two and a half years now on YouTube. And then that brings us to, here we go, my favorite bit of hardware on this headset. This is, I'm, I'm just going to say, guys, this is the best headphone cord ever designed. It's got, the only, the only problem is, it, like I said, you know, it, it doesn't come with that adapter. You know, what's a couple bucks, go buy one. Here's what's great about this head, this headphone cord. One of the reasons I've gone through so many headsets is because 90% of the times I've had a headset fail, almost almost every single time, it's because something in the cord goes and the headset's now useless. Like for instance, here, I'll just pick this up again. This is actually what I was, I picked it up and then forgot why I picked it up. Look, there's not even a, see where this where, where uh, this hooks into the PC37X it has I, I like these what happened to these why did manufacturers go away from this this stops it from being kinked right exactly where it comes out here's a hundred dollar headset it's got like leather ear cups and aluminum frame and all that fancy crap and the cord just comes out here it can so easily get kinked right there and they do they develop shorts all the time not, I'm not saying this headset does I'm just saying headsets get shorts all the time oh yeah that's that's this metal, it's nice cold metal, it's really cool, but that's the other thing. Just going back to practicality for a second while I'm still holding this thing. Cool headset, you know? Yeah, for sure. But I'm not doing a review on a Razer, I'm doing a review on the Master Op and Sennheiser. But this is like, when I, when, I, when I say practicality, look, this thing's made of all aluminum. It's got the, the fancy little uh, LED lights on it and everything like that. I can't see the lights when I'm wearing my headset. You know, it's like driving a car with spinners, you know, on the wheels. What, what, the only time you're spinning, you're in the car, you can't see them, you know. Um, I, I guess I'm just too much about practicality. Well, enter this cord. I'm going to tell you why I think this is the perfect headphone cord. Uh, there's about four or five points in this cord. First of all, there's no inline volume knob. I hate inline volume knobs. They get hooked on everything, even the ones that are shaped like, you know, they're, they're shaped all tapered, so they can't, they still do. They get caught in everything. Um, I do play in bed, like I said, a lot, or on the couch, you know, because video gamers are lazy, right? Uh, I can't say how many times I rolled over and whacked it with my elbow, or whatever. I've had several of them short out, and I can't help but think it's because I stepped on it once, or I hit it with my, you know, with my elbow once, or, or maybe I just try to stand up too fast, and it's a weak point in the cord, and this doesn't have one. Here we have a 10 foot cord. That's one other thing I like about this cord. The primary headset I use has a 20 foot cord. It's great because it allows me to play from bed. I can haul it around, but you gotta haul it around. Every time I need to switch machines with it, I gotta stand up and reel it up and, and walk somewhere else with it. 
10 feet, especially being that this is primarily a PC gamer's headset, this is plenty. Now, another thing I like about this cord, it's braided, which could be a double-edged sword because I have had a history of not liking braided cables. I'm not gonna go back to the headset over there, but that one has a big, burly braided cable, as you guys know, um, their products. And this one's not as burly, and it's not as, uh, it's a little more slick. The reason I bring this up is because I've had issues with braided cables. There were times when I preferred to have just a regular cable over a braided one. I mean, it's not like I'm going off-roading with this thing, dragging it through the mud. You know, it doesn't really need the braided cable. Uh, that's why I say double-edged sword. I say that because I've had them on, on mice, where just simply using the mouse over, you know, repeated months of use, uh, grinding against, you know, just, just slightly rubbing against the edge of the desk has, like, frayed it and started to grind down to the wires. So there's downsides to uh, braided cables. Also, it, they could be noisy. It depends on how you wear your headset, if you sit in a wooden chair or not. I mentioned these headsets are quiet. They are extremely quiet. I forgot I was wearing it just now, except that I'm talking just a little bit louder so I can hear myself. But that said, I can really still hear myself just fine. Um, I, this is a quiet headset, but be aware, it does have a braided cable, but if you're that picky about microphone quality, um, you know what I mean? Yeah. This has got a great mic, but even, you know, I make videos for a living and even I'm not that worried, you know, if I accidentally cough or, uh, or if, you know, they can hear my fan in the background because, hey, you got to keep cool, right? So I really do think this is the perfect deal right here. Not only does it unplug, you know, this will invariably develop a short at some point. They all do. They always do. And when it does, I can just unplug it and go buy a new one. I don't have to buy a whole new headset. I can attach to my headsets, you know? Perfect headset cord right here, guys. All right, so I mentioned the fact this has open back earphones. There is one particular place where I think that actually comes in especially handy, as well as the quality of sound that you get from these headphones. I said they're really good quality. I said it's really good sound quality. Well, what else can I say? You know, a lot of that's a matter of opinion anyway. Well, here's an example. I do a lot of video editing because I do videos, and I usually do, I typically try to do daily videos, you know? So in the course of a year, I'm putting out at least 300 videos. So it's fair to say I do a lot of video editing, and video editing can take a lot of time. You know, I spend hours a day oftentimes editing videos. Why am I saying all this? Because um, at the times I'm trapped in my office or my room um, editing videos, and I can't hear what's going on around me. Yeah, so like it may not be super efficient, you know, when you're like, say you're, you're like, in a 20 man raid in some MMO and, and people are bothering you and annoying you and you're trying to concentrate and you're like, damn, these open back headphones. Well, I'll tell you what, when you're trying to conduct business and you still need to be able to hear your surroundings when it's not your choice, you're at your computer, but you have a job to do, but you still want to be alert, really good stuff right here. The other reason these are great for editing is something else I want to talk about. And that's that, look, these are not super bass heavy headphones. I want to be clear that these have a great balance of sound, you know, all throughout the scale great great balanced sound but they're not super duper bass heavy these these come from a company who is renowned for making headsets for audiophiles and these have a nice balanced sound this is a practical tool for your computer right here is exactly what this is all right guys so with that 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 ends my review of the uh Mastrop and sennheiser pc 37x headset there's other headsets like this for the same price point but this is a great headset. Look, there's always going to be something else out there. This is not the perfect headset, but damn, it's a good headset, and it is definitely worth the money. And there's no doubt in my mind it's worth the money. It absolutely is. When my when I first got these in the mail, when they shipped them to me, I got I got them in the mail. The first thing I did was my roommate had just gotten home from work. I said, dude, dude, try these on right now. Drop your bag. Just put these on and tell me what you think. He puts he put them on and he goes, oh my god. I said, yeah, I know, right? These things are comfy. These things sound good. They allow you to still work um, in a space where other things are going on. Maybe you have kids. A lot of, I forgot about that because I don't have kids. A lot of people I play with have kids. Wouldn't it be nice to hear if, you know, your t attention is needed elsewhere while you're playing a game? It's not like you can hear everything. I have, I'm kind of talking louder to hear myself talk, you know, but it's not like I'm wearing my regular headphones, which are just like completely, you can't hear anything. So let's, so I said I had a pair of these to give away.
and I do. One of these boxes here, ah, it's this one. One of these boxes, I have opened it, of course, but I haven't taken it out, has a brand new shiny set of PC37X headphones just for you. Mess Drop sent me two sets, so I, I, so I emailed them and I, and I said, why did you send me two sets? You want me to give one away? And they said, sure, go ahead. And I was like, alrighty then. Uh, definitely check out their website in the description of this video below, but keep in mind you can't just go to their store and buy these. They're kind of exclusive, you gotta wait for the right time. So that said, I'm gonna give away this headset. And you can have them for free. So here's what I want you to do. I'm not a big social media guy. A lot of people are using social media platforms for giveaways. Here's how I want to do this. You guys know I have a Discord server. If you didn't know I had a Discord server, check the uh, description of my videos. There's a link to it in the description of all my videos. My Discord server is no slouch. There's over a thousand people on there. Um, there's lots of, it's more than I can keep track of. It's honestly more than I can keep track of. It's a fun place to hang out anyway. So the reason I'm saying that is here's what I want you to do. If you want a chance to win these headphones, go ahead and hashtag MassDrop in the comments of this video below. And, and uh, with that hashtag MassDrop, write in your Discord name. Okay? Um, if you're not on Discord, it takes two seconds to download it on your phone, on your computer. I think uh, this Xbox... I, can you Discord an Xbox? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Not PS4 though, damn it. But anyway, you can get Discord really easily. Hashtag MassDrop. Be sure to type your name on your Discord name in the comment with that hashtag in the comments of this video so that I know it's you when you message me. I get a lot of messages on Discord. A lot of messages on Discord. Oh, oh how about I stop playing with your prize now? I'm gonna put this down. The box feels really nice. It really does. It's very nice cardboard. <laughs> oh man. Mass drop was really cool and um I'm glad that I like their product. They sent me this product, obviously wanting a favorable review, who wouldn't? And you know, that puts you under some pressure because you want to be honest, but I was really glad to find out that this headset is actually really awesome and I think absolutely every bit worth the $120 you know, asking price. So go ahead and hit a hashtag mass drop, type in your name on my Discord server. Don't have to type in your full name. You know, like, like for instance, my full name on Discord is Dark Dally, you know, hashtag 1413 or something like that. Uh, don't have to give me your full name. Maybe some people want, might be nervous about that for some reason, even though it's only electronics. It's okay. Uh, just go ahead and type down the nickname you put on my server, and I'll search you, and I'll find you. I'll find you, you know. So go ahead and join, join the Discord. Yeah, hashtag that down there and then in the description. Uh, join the Discord, write your name. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the comments. I'll pick one person, and that person, just completely random. I'm going to go through the comments one week after this video is released. However, um, unfortunately, i, I got to say this. I hate that I have to say this. The contest is only for um, U.S. residents. Sorry, guys. I just uh, they they were nice enough to send me a, a free headset, but I can't you know shipping costs and, and whatnot. So it's only for U.S. residents. I hate to cut out what I think. I think the U.S. is 55% of my viewership, so I'm cutting out damn near half my viewers out of the contest. Um, we'll do something special next time just for you guys. So uh, that's all you got to do to win them. Pretty easy. Just put your name, put your Discord name down there in the, in the comments and say you want to win these. Do not message me on Discord to say you want them. I know you want them. If you want them, tell me in the comments and I'll get back to you. I already, I got way too many messages waiting for me on Discord already. My conclusion on the, the, uh, the Mass Drop Sennheiser PC37X. Like I said, I already said it guys, they're awesome, head, they're, they're awesome headphones. They're absolutely worth the money. You're getting everything you pay for. It, it, you know, they're a good bargain. They're a good deal. It's nothing, you know, they're nothing like super like, oh my God, you must have these. They're the best in the world. No, of course, I'd be lying if I said that. But they're damn good headphones for $120, guys. They really are. And we're talking, I like the no frill setup. I am in love with this headset cord and I'm in love with these ear cups. These ear cups, guys. I don't think you can see them on this camera. They're all black anyway, but, oof. All right, guys, so that's it. That's all there is to this. This headset, there's no bones about it. Of course it's worth the money. It's absolutely worth the money. And then some. I'm glad to be working with MassDrop. Thanks again to them for sending me these. Uh, I hope they work with them more in the future. Uh, if you want to check out MassDrop, you can follow the link in the description below and check out these headphones online. They're only available at certain times for a limited time, so be aware of that. They're kind of an exclusive item. 
hopefully you can score some and tell me what you think about them. I like them, guys. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'm Dark Dally. I will catch you guys next time.